case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, a legal case struck a chord at the intersection of immigration law and state statutes. The case revolved around Moons Maluli, a lawful permanent U.S. resident who faced deportation based on a Kansas misdemeanor conviction for possessing drug paraphernalia. The key question the Supreme Court had to grapple with was whether Maluli's misdemeanor drug paraphernalia conviction warranted his deportation under the relevant immigration statute. Maluli had pleaded guilty to possessing drug paraphernalia, specifically a sock, which contained four orange tablets. While Maluli freely admitted these tablets were Adderall, the actual substance was not identified in the initial criminal charge. This gap in identification would later play a key role in his defense. Following the completion of Maluli's probation, proceedings for his deportation began. The weight of Maluli's future rested heavily on how the Supreme Court interpreted the Immigration and Nationality Act and the Controlled Substances Act during these proceedings. The Supreme Court decided that an alien's deportation is reasonable only if their conviction directly connects to a controlled substance, as detailed in Section 802 of the Controlled Substances Act. It concluded that Maluli's Kansas conviction didn't warrant his removal because his offense did not relate to a substance recognized under federal law as illicit. In the end, the Supreme Court rejected the broader interpretation that would have permitted deportations for any drug-related offense. In doing so, Maluli's deportation order was quashed, a decision that effectively reversed the Eighth Circuit's initial ruling. In reaching this verdict, the court applied the categorical approach, focusing on the legal essence of the conviction rather than the specific actions of Maluli. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.